Hi guys, uh, in this video I'm going to show you how validation conditional logic works and how to use it properly to get most of it. Uh, I've created a simple a product with uh, two form fields. Actually, uh, this is the most common usage uh, when you have two fields and uh, would like to add uh, value-based constraints uh, for each of these fields. Uh, for instance, uh, you have width field and uh, length field and uh, you would like, uh, well, you set it, let's say, to maximum uh, value of 10, both, both of these fields. Uh, but uh, actually you don't want to let customers to uh, order something that is uh, uh, 10 meters uh, width and 10 meters long. long. Uh, but uh, you want to make it like uh, if a uh, customer chooses length 7 meters or greater, uh, then uh, uh, the maximum uh, for width uh, will be, let's say, 5. Okay, so um, as I said, it's a very basic product. And um, actually, it works like this. Uh, we have to open the conditional tab in... Uh, uh, edit settings uh, model window of the option. Oh, sorry, validation. I meant validation, of course. Yeah, and uh, here uh, you can see a bunch of settings. Uh, we are interested in uh, this uh, two settings. The first one enables uh, validation conditional logic. Uh, the second one uh, is actually a set of rules. You can add your own rules. So it works like this. Um, uh, just to remind you, um, I opened it a uh, model win window with settings for width field. So I'm going to add the rule when lens is um let's say greater or equal than seven i want to make uh with uh no more than five okay so how to do that um here i have to define my uh, rule and um uh, i can do this mm, uh, well, actually, the plugin UniCPU uses uh, such script as Parsley, Parsley.js, and we can uh, uh, take a look at uh, its documentation. It's here, built in validators. Mm, here, uh, the complete list of built in validators, and we want to choose uh, Max, this one. Okay, I'm going to use uh, attribute uh, with, uh, that looks like this, which uses a uh, parsley uh, suffix, right? Because um, I just don't want to mess with uh, possible browser default behavior uh, if I'm using a standard uh, HTML5 attribute, okay? So I'm copy this and um, paste it here and slightly change to five. I need five. Okay, save. And of course, save builder content. Okay. Now, uh, uh, the maximum uh, value of both fields by default is 10. So I can uh, add 8 here and it will be validated perfectly well. 
but uh, we have added some validation condi conditional logic so when I add here something uh, bigger than 7 let's say 8 the first field became uh, the first field becomes invalidated because of our new extra validation so basically this is how it works yeah and um, I can uh, add the um, similar logic for the second field and uh, they will work vice versa also I'm gonna show you some more uh, about validation logic uh, okay so uh, the first setting uh, that is called custom validation messages uh, makes it possible to overwrite cast, uh, standard uh, messages validation messages let, let's say um, when is required uh, i can write here something like um come on add something here and um, save it okay and save builder content and then reload the page mm, okay and when i remove see this is my custom message uh, now I can also change um, uh, the type of this field uh, by default you have to choose one of three uh, types like string integer or decimals but uh, what if I want to make this field uh, to accept only emails uh, this is how I uh, can make it Okay, I um, choose string here. Then um, I want to remove my uh, custom validation scheme. Okay, and now I want to add extra validation rules. Here I can define a new uh, type of this field. Again, let's go to Parsley.js website and look uh, for the options we have. Uh, let's say ML yes this one so I'm gonna use it okay and um, what if I want to <laughs> okay th this is enough for this um, save everything Uh, now uh, if I want uh, if I add something random here like this it says this value seems to be invalid okay uh, now I'm gonna make it uh, like a an, like an email address okay so test at test com yes it's perfectly validated see okay thanks uh, that's all for today. See you.